Welcome to another 4-Minute Friday. My name is Brody Whitlock. We're going to be talking about Autodesk AutoCAD and how to import non-vector-based PDFs into the program. We're going to create a new AutoCAD file. Um, that way we're working fresh. I work in Revit, so there are normally some things I need to verify before I do most of the things in AutoCAD. And I'm going to show you guys that as well through this process. So we're going to import this CAD file, or this PDF actually, into it using the Insert tab and PDF Import. If you're using a vector-based PDF, it makes it a little bit easier to do some of the tracing and some of the lines. However, with a non-vector-based, you're really focusing on just having that imported in to be able to trace over. Now I'm going to go through and look and make sure that all my drawing properties are correct, as well as make sure that my units, uh, display units, and dim styles are architectural for this demo. And change them here. I use the um, dim style and the units command as well. All right, now that that's changed, I'm going to rotate this file so that way it's actually facing properly. I'm also moving it over. So that way when I do rotate it, it just comes back down in between the X and Y axis on the positive side of the coordinates. All right, so one thing too, this of course is not going to come in to scale. Um, so we're also going to need to scale it. And I'm going to scale using a reference. That way I can make sure to pick my two points. Once I click the first one, I will type in R. And then we will select the scale box that is on this drawing to be as accurate as we can be. So we know that this is 16 feet. And now we're going to type in 16 feet and we're going to get this strong to scale. And just a check, we're going to do a, a linear dimension here using the dim lin keystroke and command and see where we're at. I did not change the size of my measurements and the annotation, so I have to zoom in here, but we see it's fairly close to 16 feet um, like it is showing on the scale box. Once that's done, you can use your P line or any other drawing command to trace out your floor plan or whatever you're using in Revit, or I mean, sorry, AutoCAD. That way you can maybe take them into Revit or just use your plans in. This has been another 4-Minute Friday with Brody. I know I normally do some of the other programs. However, today felt like doing AutoCAD, so here you go. Um, if you have any questions, you can obviously leave them in the comments below. As well, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel or go to tpm.com and look at our content there as well. All of our previous recordings are on there for your viewing. Thank you.